But first, dueling expert witnesses and graphic testimony from the medical examiner, all part of the felony murder trial of Ricky Cantu. He is accused of driving drunk and pulling right into the path of a motorcycle, killing the cyclist. Paul Venema now with what the medical examiner testified about the cyclist's death and what the experts are saying about who caused that fatal wreck. Security camera video from a store in the neighborhood shows a motorcycle crashing broadside into a pickup truck, killing the cyclist. The truck had turned left into the path of the motorcycle. The cyclist, who was not wearing a helmet, was identified as 51-year-old Rudy Borrego. Witnesses told police that he braked and put the motorcycle on its side before sliding under the truck. The driver of the truck, 57-year-old Ricky Cantu, had a blood alcohol level of 0.21. Since this was his third drunk driving arrest, he's facing felony murder charges. According to the medical examiner, Borrego, too, had alcohol in his system. His blood alcohol is at a level of 0.07. He was not legally drunk, prosecutors noted. Cantu's blood alcohol level was well beyond the legal limit of 0.08. Dr. Evans testified that Borrego suffered multiple leg and arm injuries. He also had a number of skull fractures, which caused tearing of the brain tissue underneath. Cause of death, massive head and brain injury, she testified. A lengthy hearing outside the jury's presence was the focus of much of the day's testimony, with the defense questioning the credibility of the prosecution's traffic reconstruction expert. The prosecution expert says that Cantu caused the wreck. We expect the defense expert to say that it was Borrego's fault. Closing arguments and the jury's decision tomorrow. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.